What happens to a battery when it gets old? This is what this question is talking about. They show you the VI curve right there. And they ask you as the cell reaches the end of its useful life, what happens? Well, you should know the EMF decreases, but they already told you that. So EMF decreases, but also the internal resistance increases. Why? Why? If you ask me why, I'll say go and ask your chemistry teacher. Or just go Google on the internet. What happens to battery cells when they get old? Now, what hap which diagram shows the VI curve or VI straight line for the cell when it's near the end of its life? To do this question properly, you need to know wh what is the equation of this straight line graph. Well, a bit of recap. Normally, in a circuit, your EMF minus the internal resistance, so IR is loss volts, internal resistance, equals to the terminal potential difference, aka V in this case. Now, we rearrange this a little bit, you realize there's actually the equation of a straight line graph. Do you see it? Let me draw it out for you. Ri plus E. Now, your straight line graph Y on the axis is V, so this is our Y, equals to Mx plus C. So our gradient will be the negative resistance, and our intercept will be this, E. So that means... Firstly, the EMF here will decrease, right? So that means your intercept should be lower than the original. So actually, let's go through all the graphs and already look at it. The first one, EMF is unchanged. Nope. That's out. Second one, EMF is lower now. Okay. Third one, what? EMF become higher. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The fourth one, D, EMF become lower. Okay, so we have two choices left. Now we have to look at the internal resistance because you see the gradient is a bit different. So how do you decide? Well, gradient is negative R. Resistance increase. So that means ne when negative R increase, it really means the resistance value is increasing. So the gradient is more negative. Okay, Resistance increase is the R value, not the negative. So R value increase, so gradient is more negative, which means it is steeper, more steep. That means between B and D, B will be the best choice because you see now it's more steep, sloping down, whereas D, it becomes less steep. The slope is not so steep. But they're all negative gradients anyway. So the answer is B for this graph question. Okay, so go check out, refresh a little bit. What is EMF, PD, and how to think about the graphs? Quite a few times they will ask you about this kind of equation. So make sure you know how to manipulate them and get them into a straight line form. That's all for this question. See you in the next one.